Welcome, it's April 6, 2022. This is the Jenkins Governance Meeting. Uh, thanks for being here. By way of agenda, we've got uh, news, uh, action items, meeting time adjustment, expense approvals for security team, I think is under control, but I wanted to bring it here just in case. The Ukraine invasion by Russia and the Jenkins project topic that I think we want to check status to be sure that the technique I used is okay. Uh, CDF awards may really just belong under, under news because it's not, I don't know if there's anything we need to do about it. Jenkins is the way replacement site. Gavin, I assume we, we want to have a little more discussion there. Uh, I don't know. Um, there is more we can discuss it, but I'm not sure there's anything necessary for the government. And we did talk about it last meeting. So okay. So so if you're okay, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna take community awards and the uh, and the Jenkins is the way off the topic because I don't think there's anything that as a governance board we need to discuss in them. Okay. okay. Great. Um, then any no other topics to add. I um I agree with Oleg. Uh, I don't think Jenkins Project invaded Ukraine. Oh right, right. Sorry, I should use. <laughs> Sorry, how did <laughs> invasion? Okay. So how about maybe even how and how it relates to the Jenkins Project? Very good. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So uh, although I do kind of want the resources to invade things. <laughs> okay. Great. Okay, so good. Is that a better phrasing of it? Thanks very much for the correction. Okay. All right, so by way of news, yes, we released a new long-term support release yesterday. Uh, the change log is available. The release went smoothly, no surprises, no, no, no disasters. Yes, we're using system D. Yes, we're um, running with the new UI improvements, looking better. And this has the fix for that one thing that was someone on the forum was mentioning about constant logging or whatever. Yes, it includes it includes a few fixes, and it's a relatively few fixes. It's five or six fixes, and one change to the Windows installer that now it if you choose Java eight from the Windows installer, it will raise a nice warning box to you and say, "Really, we're going to Java eleven. You should choose Java eleven instead." It won't stop you, but it just tells you, look, you've chosen a JDK. We, we, there's not, not got a long life with us. Okay. Anything else on news? All right. Action items. I've still got two that I've not made progress in. I need to check with Tracy Miranda on the FOSM funds transfer and finish the Linux foundation transfers from GSOC 2021. And since we're coming up on GSOC 2022, soon to be in progress that those are good things to have. Uh, now the big question, does the meeting time need to adjust because of daylight saving time? And the answer, Evelina suggests yes. Yes. <laughs> now, if it's, do we want one hour earlier, two hours earlier? What, what works for each of the people in the room? We've got, we've got four of us here. This is where Mark and I table flip and say, oh no, it has to stay now forever. No, 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 no. Right. Thanks. No, I, I have no problem two hours earlier or three hours earlier or an hour earlier. Evelina, what works for you? Well, two hours, uh, two hours earlier would be perfect for me, but I'll, I will, I'll be okay with one hour earlier. I, yeah. Oleg, how about you? I would prefer one hour earlier. So if it's two hours, most likely I won't be able uh, to join because of parenting. Mm. So we either do it much, much earlier, let's say in the European working hours uh, timeframe, um, which could be an option, but- well, uh, What might would be, be the difference for that? Uh, eight, eight hours? I don't know yeah. what time it is, so. So that, that would, well, European working hours would, so right now in Europe, it's 10 p.m., is that right? Yes. Ev Evelina, for you, it's you and Oleg, it's 10 p.m., is that right? Right now? Actually 11. Oh, 11. 11. Oh, my yeah. sakes, yes. That's why I'm complaining. <laughs> as, as you should. <laughs> okay, so. So yeah, 10 p.m., I, I understand the, uh, if it's if it's much earlier than, than, than now, then I don't know, it might 
it may become a little bit complicated. If one hour earlier works for Oleg, then we can just do one hour earlier. Well, I can do two hours earlier. Uh, my preference would be then three or four hours earlier because uh, two hours earlier is exactly the time when my son goes to the bed. So it's uh, probably the most unpredictable time. And Evelyn, does three or four hours work earlier work better for you, or is it is are are those now infeasible for you? For three 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 is perfectly okay. Okay. Three or three and a half, yeah. Mm. So I wonder. So if it's just us four, we can definitely find the time, including just moving it one hour whether we could have anyone else participating uh, by adjusting the time, but it's a separate topic. Yeah, and, and I think, for instance, I know that Daniel Beck has occasionally attended, and he's a relatively later evening person, so I'm not overly worried. I think we'll likely get his attendance at any one of those alternate times. Vadek, I don't know for sure. Uh, Damien, probably none of them, right? They're all well outside his, his usual working hours. If we did much earlier, I think we could, because Damon's usually on when I come on, not when I come on, um, 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. my time is when he usually disappears. So that would be four hours earlier. Um, that would be pushing it for me, just because my meetings, I tend to have meetings at 9 a.m. Um, we could do a little bit earlier and do before my workday starts. Um, But yeah, if two or if one, two or three, actually, yeah, anything other than exactly four, I think I'd be happy with. Oh, oh, okay. So, okay, so I have a, I have a nine a.m. meeting, and it's currently it. two p.m. So whatever the math works out for that one, I don't want to miss the nine a.m. one every every week, every two weeks. Got it. Okay, so we've got choices: four and a half hours earlier, three and a half earlier hours earlier, three hours earlier, or two hours earlier. That all work for Gavin. Or and 10 hours or, later. Or 10 hours later. Yeah. So midnight, my time would be perfect. <laughs> oh, okay. 10 hours, 10 hours later is... is like 3 a.m. for you, though. So I oh, don't think it's going to work. Well, ten hour, actually, 10 hours later on a Wednesday is not workable for me because I have personal commitments. Then, yeah. So... You have personal commitments at 3 a.m.? This is crazy. No, 10 hours from now will only be, my time will only be 8 or 9 p.m. No, 13, no, you're right, 1 a.m., no. no, no, that's, you're right, I'd be asleep. I'm bad at time math again. Yes, no, I, 10 hours later is not workable for me. I, yeah. I won't. No, no, but I talk to you for a lot at that time slot, so I'm good. Uh, I'm always okay. up there anyways. So, Oleg, in terms of predictability for you, if we went three hours or oh, three hours earlier, you say you could do. Could. Okay, and Evelina, three hours earlier would work for you. Yes. Okay, so and Gavin, double check, three hours earlier would okay, work. So for you? it's two, one, twelve, eleven. Yeah, eleven's fine. Okay. All right. So. Three, and three hours is great for me because this time happens to be colliding with the start of my personal commitments. So it's great moving at three hours earlier is really good for me. So, so I, I take that as decision three hours earlier and action mark adjust the calendar, calendar, um, the Jenkins.io look site, et cetera. Okay, let me just double check the math because this did you oh like did you say four was better? I will survive. Well, no, that's what I'm thinking. I'm just looking. So if it's two, three of that is eleven. So four is ten. Ten I can do. Ten is great. Nine was what I was trying to avoid. So four is good, five is not. Okay. So, so if four works for you better, or like I'm happy with four. Yeah, four works for me better. Evelina? Yeah, I'll, is, I'll, I'll make it work, yes. Yeah, I four, guess it four, would be 7 p.m. or 10, Evelina. Yeah. 
just trying to figure out how my yoga schedule schedule fits in but no i'm <laughs> i'll be okay with the and and we could do to half hours right we could do four and a half or three and a half evelina if you got <laughs> no yeah no i i no i don't really care that much it's gonna be okay really uh, okay. yes okay well and and again we have if mm -hmm. if when we meet two weeks from now we find it does not work we just tell mm -hmm. each other and we fix it yeah. This this meeting can change times as much as we need it to. Okay, great. All right, so I will I will do that adjustment. Four and hours more early. More action items for Mark because Mark really needs more action items. Well, uh, in this case, that's a that's an e I like easy action items because I can actually get them done. Yeah. Okay, so um, next topic was expense approvals for the security team. I think last time we discussed that. Vodak had been granted expensify access. Everything's I believe, approved. Yeah, okay. I believe all right. approved them. Yeah. Okay. So approved, done. Great. Thank you. But at the moment, Oleg is currently the only one on the board that can approve it. Yeah. I sent uh, the message to Heather uh, to understand what's uh, our state of this administration backend. I haven't heard back yet. Okay. Okay. So, and that's. That's to the Linux Foundation people. Yeah. So I guess I will submit the official ticket for that. Great. Okay. All right. So then next topic was the Ukraine invasion by Russia, Russia and how it relates to the Jenkins project. I submitted an email asking for additional votes. Sorry. The embarrassing thing here is I just submitted it today. So I don't have any actual results to, to share other than that the request has gone out. I'd propose we look at it in two weeks if we don't already have enough votes during the next week to, to just help us do a decision by email. How are people voting on that? Uh, all I invited them to do was go do a plus one as a comment on the poll request. Oh, okay. My hope is that we won't be bombarded by spam from somebody, but if we are, GitHub has mechanisms to manage spam. So, no, it's fine. I just assumed we would use. Actually, no. I, when I saw that email, I assumed there would be on the forms because we have voting there. But no, GitHub actually GitHub works just fine. That's fine. Oh, and I should have used forms. Yeah, I, I didn't. Need any to chance to draw people into the forms? I'm right, always looking right. for it. So, well, it's it's a good reminder. Mark should have used. Could could have used. Uh, yeah, I could should. I don't care which of those to host the voting because. It does have a good voting scheme, and we've already used we used it for governance voting. So yes. Okay, good. I don't think we did. I think we used the external. Well, right. how do I say it? We used it red for registration for governance voting. Yeah, you're right. Okay, fair. Anything else on that topic? No. Nope. Okay. Next one then is the contributor summit. We've still got an open question with uh, with the Linux Foundation events team on the specific date of the summit. Uh, they'll their Alyssa continues to uh, ask that question with them, and it will still be the the intent is on site summit, and then if we've got interests in it, if desired will consider a separate online summit afterwards uh, sometime after questions or concerns there no questions i can only confirm that there is exactly zero chance i'm going uh, to the united states understood or, uh, or anywhere for what it was. I won't have a passport from May to August. And it's just the best possible scenario. Oh dear. Good luck. Okay. So best of luck. And and that's that's can't be made easier by all of the complications internationally. Sorry, Oleg. Wow. Mm, I will survive. I have no passport now, so. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I'm trying to. I'm trying to to figure out when I can kind of set up set up an appointment to get it. But yeah, I wouldn't expect myself to go to US this summer either. I mean, 
I have and, a passport, uh, and I'm still not going to be going. So, <laughs> yeah, I spent uh, two months just uh, to set an appointment. So the appointment is finally set to 24th of May, and after it, it may take something like three months to make the passport, mm. uh, and it's SLA. Obviously, taking the current situation with well, uh, war, etc., I don't think that the SLA is exactly going to be maintained. Mm. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, ouch. Oh, I am so sorry. Oh, well, ouch, ouch, mm -hmm. ouch. And then I need to get the US visa. Right, <laughs> right. And, and good, luck, good luck with that. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, uh, well, I, oh, my UK uh, visa instead is easier. Which I don't know if it's I'm easier. Russian citizen, so nothing is going to be easy for me in the coming yeah. years. Right. Uh, I guess I will settle in Switzerland a bit. Good luck. Ouch. Well, uh, Jenkins contributing contributor summit in Switzerland. Then that's what we're doing. And, and I think I think that is a good. I would I would enjoy that. I intend to be in Europe in October, and so I have I have a personal a friend in October in Italy that I'm visiting in October. So maybe we ought to consider a Switzerland October contributor summit. But that that's a for later. Yes. Let's talk about it. I'm definitely <laughs> interested. All right. So, uh, anything else on CDCon and twenty Jenkins Contributor Summit? Nope. All right. Next topic then was Google Summer of Code Progress Report, and we're in the uh, the submissions are being accepted now. And the deadline was extend extended. Well, I didn't know about that. The review. The review. Oh period? no, that's that's a that's Sorry. an internal that's an internal Jenkins project deadline. Yeah, so wrong word. So yeah. internal internal or let's call it what it is. Um, reviews and comments of draft proposals are due by the end of this week from the mentors. From the and we should use the word potential there. Potential mentors. Uh, and then the final PDFs submitted to Google by candidates, uh, I believe is April, is it April 19? See the, see the timeline. So um, Alyssa and John Mark, uh, Alyssa Tong and John Mark Mason are running the process with Chris Stern. So the three of them are doing the org admin work and We've had a number of good sessions, uh, sessions discussing project ideas, uh, refining, improving, et cetera. So it's looking promising. All right. Oh, and I missed one item just to tell everyone She Code Africa Contributhon has started. Um, we have seven seven contributors from Africa working for six weeks, being mentored by uh, individuals in the uh, Jenkins project, uh, started April 5th. And we're in the community bonding period right now. We'll do that for two weeks and the project work will run for four weeks and then two weeks of wrap up. forums and topics. So Ga Gavin, did you want to take this one? Uh, I'll admit, I don't I really have anything prepared. Um, I do know that we had the announce. Oh, this should go in the news. We did have the announcements for Shell for what was it? Oh, right. Called? Spring Shell. Spring Shell. Uh, generally not, uh, Jenkins is not affected. We did shut down the custom distribution service that was a GSOC project last year. It's kind of been abandoned, um, but everything else, we essentially were like, yep, it doesn't affect us. We've done our tests. We seem to be okay. Um, then there's a UX Guild thing from Tim that was announced today, the design, the weekly in the design library. Yes, yes, very good. Um, and then there was another post. I'm just thinking from memory. I haven't pulled it up. Um, there's another post about uh, a, a shared library someone ma made and published so people can use and do it. 
Oh. We can dig up the link for it, but it's in the showing off section of the forums. Uh, oh, Basil had the, or Basil? The Basil. Basil. Basil has the Java tooling for Java 17. So Oh, uh, the one that was exciting to me, there's an SQLite uh, POC for Jenkins. Yeah, that was one that- It's been a busy week, actually. Thinking yes, about it. so, and that was again by Basil Crow, and it was it was operational, right? So uh, he was storing um, the X, what, the JSON, ob JSON versions of the Xtreme objects? I admit I didn't look into it too deeply. I, I think that's what he was doing. So he and described it. So I'll I'll try to get links for all these after the meeting and fill them in. Great. Nothing else comes to mind. I would normally I'd like to go look and skim the post, but I didn't do it. And so yeah, well, so and on the Jenkins tooling for Java 17, Mark. Um, found another mistake in the Git plugin as a result of that, and it's it's fixed now and merged. So the Git plugin is running tests with Java 17 in addition. Oh, yeah, there so. was sorry, just had one too. Oh, speaking of Git plugin um, translations, you had oh, a topic oh, yes, about that right. too. Oh, right. And that one we should know, particularly Evelina and Oleg, because you're native language speakers of in in a language in languages of interest. Okay, so crowd in, crowd in enterprise experiment is running with Alexander Taylor. Alex, no, no, Alex Brandis, sorry, not Taylor. Uh, that's, you may recognize, not my fault from GitHub. Uh, and it makes, makes translating uh, Jenkins messages much more pleasant. Uh, and web user interface, uh, it it just feels much better. So we'll do more experimenting with it, uh, more experimenting in tomorrow's office hours. Doc's office hours. Oh yeah, sorry, Doc's office hours. Oops, yes, thanks. Yeah, so special thanks to Alex for his work on that. I've been impressed at how easy it is to use. It includes a, a <clears throat> transla and translation dictionary and recommends machine translations, it reuses dictionaries from the, the product itself, so it gets better over time, really promising. Good, good reminder, thanks, Gavin. Any other topics for today's session? No, I think, no. The only one I have is a personal one and it's not ready to go yet, so I think we're good. Okay. Evelina or Oleg, anything further no. from you? All right. Thanks, everybody. Yeah.